Self-Love is the New Sexy, the podcast devoted to helping you overcome life's most painful and stubborn challenges so you can feel great, have more energy, and live stress-free every day. To reach your full potential, simply work with the powerful spiritual principles that are readily accessible to everyone. It's easier than you think. And on today's show, W. Mark Watts is going to show you how starting with self-love is the key to joyously and harmoniously making that happen. Hey, everybody, it's W. Mark Watts. I want to say hello, welcome, and thank you to everyone for hanging out with me for another episode of Self-Love is the New Sexy And today's episode is going to be short and sweet and to the point, but I hope that you do heed the topic because it is super, super important and you will find a lot of joy behind it as well. And what is it? It's all about having fun, having fun, having fun. I know for me, there was a long stretch of years in my life where I did not do the best job of having fun. But on the flip side, there were several stretches of my life where I did a really good job of having fun. And so I know the difference for me. So the first thought or first question is for you. Can you recognize those periods of your life when you had a lot of fun? And can you recognize the periods of your life where you didn't do as good a job as in having fun? And, you know, basically it comes down to we choose not to because regardless of what's going on in our lives, we can choose to have fun. So, for example, and so I've committed, recommitted myself to that, especially being middle aged now. You know, I really have to understand that. And I do understand that you really got to make the most of each day because regardless of how you look at it, they're winding down, right? You never know. So you've got to make the most of them when you have them. And so I have them. So for example, at the time that I'm recording this, this uh, episode, I'm going down to my college homecoming, football homecoming. And um, I realized when I was, as I was preparing for this episode, I was wondering, I'm like, I think of my college years and those years following my college experience as some of the greatest, matter of fact, unequivocally the best time of my life outside of the birth of my son and and raising my son, those years were the best years that I've ever had in my life. And so I, it hit me like, why did you have so much fun in college? Why was that so great? And there are two major reasons. I'll touch on the second one first. The second one is I did an excellent job or or the universe brought me together with a group of guys that we were all aligned and we all had similar purposes and we all enjoyed each other and had a ball together. We, I I consider all of them my brothers and we still are very close to this day. And that's been, you know, since we graduated, it's going on 30 years now. Now, that was beautiful because the people that you are around, really your environment has a huge, plays a huge part in how much you enjoy yourself, enjoy life. Now, the most important thing, though, is this. And it hit me like a ton of bricks this morning, and I'm so glad it did. I'm so glad it hit me before I started recording. And that is this, is when I'm around my college buddies and my college environment, I, for some reason, and I think it's just meant to be, it's just a proper, that place is totally in alignment with who I am, but I become a kid again. I become free. And I think some of that is attached to the fact that as a young kid, I did attend several of or some of the games as a young kid, some of the football games. And and I'm talking I was probably seven, eight years old. And I remember having a ball there and I remember playing with other kids there. And we would play football and throw the football up and, you know, didn't even know any of these kids. But we would meet at the tailgates and we would just have a ball. So when I'm back in that environment, 
I revert back to those days in my mind where I let my inner child come out, where I'm free, where I don't think about a lot of things, where I'm, un I'm spontaneous and I'm, and I'm just open to take in all that is around me. And so I bring that up because, and, and probably on another episode, I'll have to dig into this a little bit more, but I want to introduce the concept of your inner child to you today. And for today, let's just call your inner child, that child part of you, the innocent you, the young you before we were programmed with so much of the garbage that we get programmed with. It's that that part of you that is uninhibited, that part of you that's totally free, the part of you that's just really joyous and having fun, the part of you that runs in the rain, the part of you that you know, just writes and reads the part of you that sings when nobody's watching or doesn't care who's watching. That's the inner child. And so over time, we layer stuff on top of that inner child and we stop listening to that inner child because that inner child just is free and ready to it, jump into adventure and have a ball and explore, which is what we're designed to do. But then as we start layering over jobs and relationships and fears and, you know, our experiences, we start to layer that stuff over the top. Our inner child starts to get pushed farther and farther away. But that inner child is so important because that's the piece that allows you to have a tremendous amount of fun. So, again, I'm going to be brief today, but I did want to just share this quick message with you. And it's this. Are you having fun in your life? When you think about it, just be honest, are you having fun? And if not, then why not? What's holding you back? And it's an easy answer. I'll give it to you now. It's you. If you're not having fun, it's you. So you have to decide that regardless of what's going on in your life, you are going to have fun. And it's time to have fun. You are designed to have fun. It's one of the ways that we can tell when we're in the right space in life is if we're having fun or not. If we're not having fun, then we're out of alignment. If we're having fun, we're in alignment. Simple as that. So are you having fun? If not, figure out what your fun is. Figure out what that inner child loves. Figure out what that inner child is saying. Connect with it. And then go do it and go have fun because I intend, I always have a ball, even though it's supposed to be rainy this weekend, I'm committed to having fun and enjoying myself and still uh, allowing the weekend to bring whatever it's going to bring. The rain's not going to damper my fun. It's not going to damper what I'm intending to do. So have, figure out what it is for you. I know what those things are for me. I will be doing a couple of those this weekend. I'll be in a place that I love. I'll be around a lot of people that I love and that I've had a great time with and some that I haven't seen in a while and we'll party and, we'll, you know, we'll eat and we'll, you know, we'll dance. We'll just have a great time. We'll, you know, catch up a little bit. But that's what's fun for me. What's fun for you and do it. So don't just think about it. Don't just figure it out, but do it. So thanks again. It's always a pleasure to hang out with you folks. Remember, fun, fun, fun. Connect with your inner child. Continue to hang out with me. Look forward to speaking with you all again very soon. Bye now. You've been listening to Self Love is the New Sexy with W. Mark Watts. If you enjoyed today's show, be sure to tell a friend. Also, make sure you never miss an episode by subscribing to our show on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher Radio, or wherever you listen to podcasts.